And we're live. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel and check out our website, fellowshipofjoy.ca. Let's pray. Yep. Just like me. Great. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not a bright person. Alright. Welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Welcome to a moment of joy. Tonight we are going to finish up Acts chapter 20. We went ahead to the ship and sailed for Asos, where we were going to take Paul aboard. He made this arrangement because, oh, where am I? Okay, he made this arrangement because he was going there on foot. Oh, that makes sense. When he met us at Asos, we took him on board and went to Milpoline. The next day we set sail for there and arrived at Chios. The day after that we crossed to Samos, and on the following day we arrived at Miletus. Paul had decided to sail past Ephesus to avoid spending time in the province of Asia, for he was in a hurry to reach Jerusalem, if possible, by the day of Pentecost. At Miletus, Paul sent to Ephesus for the elders of the church. When they arrived, he said to them, You know I lived the whole time I was with you from the first day I came into the province of Asia. I served the Lord with great humility and with tears and in the midst of severe testing by the plots of my Jewish opponents. You know that I have not hesitated to preach anything that would be helpful to you, but have taught you publicly from house to house. I have declared both Jews and Greeks that they must turn to God in repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus. And now, impelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prisons and hardship are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Now I know that none of you among whom I have gone about preaching the kingdom will ever see me again. Therefore I declare to you today that I am innocent of the blood of any of you, for I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole will of God. Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he, brought, which he bought with his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. So be on your guard. Remember that there are three years I never stopped warning each of you night and day with tears. Now I commit you to God and to the world and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I have not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than receive. When Paul had finished speaking, he knelt down with all the men and prayed. They all wept, they embraced him, they kissed him. What grieved them most was his statement that they would never see his face again. And they accompanied him to the ship. Any questions? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Isn't he looking from Jerusalem? He, um, he started out there, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, he was, he was not actually born there, though. Um, he was... Still. Yeah. Why is he scared of going back there? Because he was preaching about Jesus, and Jerusalem is where they had killed Jesus. 
They weren't very friendly to Christians in Jerusalem at that point in time. Okay. Jerusalem was the... Uh... Yes. Mm-hmm. Crawford is never welcome in his own home. Was there any, well, Paul's home was Tarsus, but, um, yeah. Whatever, Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Any, any other questions? No. All right. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that you never go tired of us. We pray for the strength and the will to continue to share your grace. We pray for opportunities to share your grace. So we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow morning. We won't see you tomorrow morning. We'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. Bye-bye.